G'day, welcome to Accelerate Maths. In a game of football, players learn the rules and practice their skills so they play their best. Maths has rules and skills too. Let's learn the rules of exponents just like it's a game. First, let's see what an exponent is. 5 multiplied by 5 has a value of 25. 5 squared is the same and also has a value of 25. 5 is the base number and 2 is the exponent. The exponent can also be called a power or an index. We can say this in different ways. 5 raised to the exponent of 2, 5 to the power of 2, 5 to the index of 2, or 5 squared. 5 squared seems strange. Where is the square? Well, if we had a square with a side of 5, the area is 5 multiplied by 5, or 5 squared, or 25. Be careful. A common mistake is to think that 5 to the exponent of 2 is the same as 5 multiplied by 2. That's not correct, because 5 times 2 is 10, but 5 squared is 25. Here, 2 multiplied by 2 equals 4, then 4 multiplied by 2 equals 8. We can also say 2 to the exponent of 3 equals 8, or 2 cubed equals 8. 2 cubed seems strange. Where is the cube? Well, if we had a cube with a side of 2, the volume of the cube would be 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, or 2 cubed, or 8. Be careful! A common mistake is to think that 2 to the exponent of 3 is the same as 2 multiplied by 3. That's not correct, because 2 times 3 is 6, but 2 cubed is 8. Now we'll learn what expanding is. Expanding means to write the base number and its exponent in a longer way that shows the repeated multiplication. Let's write 5 squared in its expanded form. It's 5 times 5. Now let's write 2 cubed in its expanded form. It's 2 times 2 times 2. Another example. 10 to the expanded of 6 is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. That's 1 million. In maths, variables, that is letters, are used to represent numbers that are unknown, but the same rules apply to numbers and variables. We can use any letter as the variable. Here, let's use the letter a. In the exponential form, we write a squared. In the expanded form, we write a times a. a to the exponent of 5 is a times a times a times a times a. Now for the first rule a to the exponent of n equals a multiplied by a multiplied by a multiplied by a, and so on. Now that we know how to write the expanded form, let's multiply. 2 to the exponent of 3 multiplied by 2 to the exponent of 4 equals 2 times 2 times 2 multiplied by 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's 2 to the exponent of 7. Now look at the exponents. Can you see a quicker way? When multiplying numbers with exponents, we add the exponents. 3 plus 4 is 7. Now we'll multiply with a variable, the letter a. a squared multiplied by a cubed is a to the exponent of 5. A quicker way is to add the exponents. So the second rule is, when multiplying terms with the same base number, we add the exponents. Let's figure out the rule for dividing. 2 to the exponent of 8 divided by 2 cubed. We'll write an expanded form. Then divide a 2 on the top with a 2 on the bottom. And divide another 2 on the top with another 2 on the bottom. And another 2 on the top with another 2 on the bottom. The answer is 2 to the exponent of 5. Notice that we subtracted the exponents. Now let's do an example of dividing with the base as a variable. First we'll write in expanded form and then divide an a on the top with an a on the bottom and then we keep dividing the matching a's. The answer is a to the exponent of 2 or a squared. See that we subtracted the exponents? So the third rule is 
When dividing terms with the same base, we subtract the exponents. Here, an exponent is raised to another exponent. It's 5 raised to the exponent of 3, which is then raised to the exponent of 2. We can say 5 cubed squared. This is the same as 5 cubed multiplied by 5 cubed. Let's write an expanded form. 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. That's 5 to the exponent of 6. But there's a quicker way. Just multiply the exponents. Let's do another example. 3 squared raised to the exponent of 4. It's 3 squared times 3 squared times 3 squared times 3 squared. Let's write an expanded form. That's 3 to the exponent of 8. Again, a quick way is to multiply the exponents. We do the same with a variable. a to the exponent of 2, which is raised to the exponent of 3, is a to the exponent of 6. So the rule is, a raised to the exponent of m raised to the exponent of n is equal to a raised to the multiplied exponents. Let's see what happens when the exponent is 0. We'll use a pattern with 10 as the base number to figure this out. What do you think? Can you see in this pattern that 10 to the exponent of 0 must be 1? Let's check this with a calculator. Let's use the calculator to work out different base numbers raised to the exponent of 0. Any number or any variable raised to the exponent of 0 equals 1. We'll use the pattern with 10 as the base number to work out what happens when the exponent is a negative number. Look closely at the decimal numbers. Can you see the pattern? Let's check with a calculator. Let's check 10 to the exponent of negative 2. 10 to the exponent of negative 2 is 0 0.01. As a fraction, that's 100th. 100 is 10 squared. So it is 1 divided by 10 squared. These are the same. 10 to the exponent of negative 2 is the same as the fraction where 1 is divided by 10 to the exponent of positive 2. This works for other base numbers too. On the calculator, 5 to the exponent of negative 2 is 0 0.04. As a fraction, that's 4 hundredths. If we divide 4 and 100 by 4, we get 1 divided by 25. 25 is 5 squared, so we get 1 divided by 5 squared. These are the same. 5 to the exponent of negative 2 is the same as the fraction where 1 is divided by 5 to the exponent of positive 2. a raised to a negative exponent is a fraction where 1 is divided by the base number with the positive exponent. Let's use a calculator to figure out what exponents that are fractions mean. 100 to the exponent of 1 half gives an answer of 10. Hey, the square root of 100 is 10. This means that an exponent of 1 half is the same as the square root. 8 to the exponent of 1 third gives an answer of 2. The cube root of 8 is 2. So an exponent of one third is the same as the cube root. For the final rule, a fractional exponent is the root of the base number.